this is Baking Tips with Abby. Today I'm going to be showing you how to ice some gingerbread men biscuits, which you will find a recipe for in the cookie and biscuit kit. So you'll need some white glacé icing, the recipe is in the book. Uh, you can uh, use it with a piping gun or you can just buy some writing icing, which will do the job just the same. I've also got some little chocolate beans, which I'm going to stick on as buttons on gingerbread men. So the first thing is piping the, the cuffs on their arms and legs. So all you do is you pipe a little zigzag. Across each arm, like that, and across each leg. There we are, fully dressed. Next is the face, um, and it's very simple. I'm just going to do two dots for eyes and a smile, but we're going to do little dots at the edges of the smile as well, in the same way as we do for the eyes. So there we are, two dots for eyes. Then start the smile with a little dot and then do a curvy line and another dot at the end. And if you find that there's too much icing coming out of your gun to finish off, it can help just to pull back on the plunger a little bit and that will stop the flow of the icing. And then to stick on the buttons, I'm just going to make three little dots down the middle and they act as glue to keep the buttons on. So there we have my gingerbread man. So now I'm going to show you how to make a bow tie on your gingerbread man. So I filled the gun with some green icing or you could use any colour of writing icing as well. So I'm going to start off by making a little blob and then going along then making another blob and going along so that you've got a little heart shape and the same on the other side but leaving a little gap in the middle. And then we're going to go into that gap and just make a little round blob for the knot. So now I'm going to teach you a technique which is often used for icing biscuits and cookies and it's called flooding icing. And what you need for this is uh, an icing gum with some glacé icing in, made up according to the recipe. And uh, I'm going to pipe an outline with that and then I'm going to add a little bit more water to the icing put some in the icing gun and then fill in the middle of the shape. So this is one that you can't really do with writing icing in the same way. So we'll start off and I'm just going to, I've got a heart shaped biscuit and I'm just going to outline the heart. So go all the way around and join up with where you started. And it's important that you don't leave any gaps because otherwise when you flood the biscuit with icing it'll run out. So now I've changed the icing in the gun to the slightly more liquid icing with one teaspoon of water added and I'm just going to fill in everything inside the original line and because it's slightly more liquid it all joins together to make a really smooth glossy surface. There we are. 